Hey guys, sorry I haven't posted a video lately. I've been super busy at work um, on my day job, so I haven't been I haven't been down here at all in like two weeks. But anyway, I'm gonna show a video on how I make the uh, the dice template. Um, I've had a couple people ask about it, so I'm gonna do a video on how we make this or how to make this, which I use to make the the yard dice for yard yachts or whatever you want to do. Um, real quick, just to give you a little preview. I've been working on these lately. These wagon wheels. I think this one's like 24 inches. And I got a 30 inch and then a 4 foot one. So, hopefully I can get to making a video real soon on how I'm making these. Um, so hopefully that can be done soon. Um, and then with the yard dice, I've been doing left, right, center. Um, it's a pretty fun drinking game with quarters and stuff. If you guys are interested, I could do a video on this also. Just let me know in the comments or whatever. Um, but alright, we'll get started on the, the template. So basically, I just start with... This is basically all just scrap wood. It's quarter inch plywood. Um, three and a half by three and a half. Um, and then for the grid, for where you need to have your holes, I just take my square here, set it, first set it at inch and three quarter, and then put it on there, and then you can just basically scroll along it and make your line. Obviously, I already got the lines on there. So you got inch and three quarter, and then you do inch and three quarter, and that'll give you a you know a plus sign basically and then move it to seven eighths so you want to move that to seven eighths and then your next line need to be seven eighths in from the side so then you'll make that line turn it make that line turn it and make that line and then, you know, you got to do all four sides, and then that will give you that pattern. And then you take this pattern, and because you, you have your dice here, you need to do, you know, one for two and one. So you just need to do this hole, this hole. So that makes a six, and then your one center hole. You don't have to do that one or that one. Just with them seven holes, that'll give you every configuration you need to do all sides of the dice. Here you go, Charlie. Bye. I got my helper down here today. Hey, Charlie. 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 Five eighths Forstner bit. That's what I use to make the the holes in the dice. time than what I'm doing because you know this is where all your holes are going to be on your dice. Make sure you get it perfect because if you screw up on this every single dice you make will be screwed up. Having a board underneath helps with tear out underneath. Um, something you could do to help, you know, make these more perfect 
you wanted to set up some kind of fence, you know, so that these are, you know, perfectly seven eighths away from there or whatever. Or you do it the way I just did it. Like I said, maybe spend a little more time so you make it perfect. So then from there, now that we got our holes drilled, just take two scrap pieces. Um, I cut them both. I believe these are three and a half. Yep, they're a little over three and a half. They don't need to be perfect. Um, and you'll put one on there like this, and then put another one on there like that. I mean, you could make this one, you know, a quarter of an inch longer to come all the way to there, 